Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be, Do They Think About Marrying You? Alright, so this is going to be stone number one with the amethyst, stone number two with the rose quartz, stone number three with the obsidian, and stone number four with the selenite. So you can take a moment and pause the video if you have to and get out your pendulum preferably. And while you're doing that, I would just like to say, that if you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to be notified, if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and get started and let's find out if they think about marrying you. All right, so I have the cards for stone number one with the amethyst and let's find out if they think about marrying you. So we have the Ten of Wands, we have the King of Wands, we have the Four of Swords, we have the Chariot, we have the Page of Wands, and we have the Nine of Pentacles, or Coins, whichever you prefer. Alright, so the person you can be dealing with could be a Cancer or a Leo, but I am emphasizing cancer here because of the chariot but at the same time could be Leo we do have this page of wands here so the one those are the ones I am going to go with most I mean we do have this card this card and this card which could indicate stuff this could actually indicate any fire sign but I mean, if we really want to get technical, I mean, the Ten of Wands is Sagittarius. The Four of Swords, people don't like when I do this though. The Four of Swords is Libra and the Nine of Pentacles is Virgo. Just saying. But what I'm going with is Cancer, Leo, any fire sign. All right. I don't see any indication that they think about marrying you. I do see that they're busy working. I feel like they're working really hard. They're having difficulty gaining forward movement in their work. And so they're thinking about that a lot. They're a very passionate person, a very good leader, very confident. And very lots of ideas, bright ideas. And they're reflecting on ways that they can become more financially independent. That's what I see them thinking about. I don't see them thinking about getting married or anything like that. So I'd have to say no, they don't think about marrying you. So, not saying they will never think about marrying you, but right now they are not thinking about marriage. They're thinking about their job, their working conditions, and trying to become financially independent. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number one. Um, if you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. Let's move on to stone number two. All right, so we have the cards for stone number one with the rose quartz, and let's find out if they're going if they think about marrying you so we have the nine of swords and the reverse we have the hierophant we have the king of cups we have the page of cups we have the page of pentacles and we have the empress do they think about marrying you yes they do and they're worried but they're working on releasing those those worries okay they're having worry and anxiety but they're anxiety and but they're working on releasing those worries and they're thinking about how they could propose they're thinking about proposing how they're going to propose what kind of ring you're going to have that they're actually doing that here's the hierophant so we have to see did i say that yeah i did say 
The signs associated with this one could be any water sign, any earth sign, uh, Taurus, Libra. Um, yeah, the Hierophant is Taurus. Um, and then we have the King of Cups, which is Libra, Scorpio. So there's going to be a lot of you that are going to have Libras and Scorpio, uh, not Libras and Tauruses. But, um, Yeah. Trying to think, yeah, Taurus. Yeah, it's a mix. Definitely a mix of you guys out there. But trying to see if there's anything else. I do feel like this person is really loyal to you. And they definitely they may seem a little bit emotionally distant, but it's not that they're just calm. They're very calm emotionally. They're very they know what they want. Okay. I mean I can't get with this card. What does that look like to you? So yes. They definitely think about marrying you. And they're actually thinking about how they're going to do it. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. And let's go ahead and move on to stone number three. Alright, so I have the cards for stone number three with obsidian, and let's find out if they think about marrying you. So we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Page of Cups, we have the Four of Swords, we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Nine of Cups, and we have the not the five five of pentacles. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, it doesn't really fit in here, but I'll explain why. So does this person think about marrying you? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So the signs associated with this is going to be any water sign. Okay. We also have Aquarius and Pisces. Okay. So what's going on here? So they are thinking about coming forward and having a proposal of love. They have a lot of love flowing emotions going on here with this Ace of Cups. You are a wish fulfillment for them. They really want... To propose you are the person that they really want in their life. Um, they think about... <laughs> I know what this card is. So they think about their honeymoon and how will they... How They would think about what kind of honeymoon they can have that will not leave you broke and out in the cold homeless because you spent too much money on your honeymoon. They think about, you know, trying... They want to have a nice honeymoon with you. And they're just trying to think of how they can do that without overspending, spending too much money. They just don't want to overdo it. But they do want to have fun. They're just trying to be reasonable about it. The cost of it, I'm, that's the only thing. There's a little bit, they're a little bit worried about the money of how much it would cost. That's what they're worried about the whole thing but they definitely think about marrying you they definitely want to marry you and if they haven't proposed yet they probably will soon so that's really quick it was like there's not much else to really see here anyways that's all i have for stone number three if you like this kind of reading please give my video a thumbs up i really appreciate it and it really helps me out if you would like to be notified of future videos please subscribe and hit the bell notification and if you would like to have a private reading you can see how to do that in the description below all right well thank you very much i'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number four all right so i have the cards for stone number four with the selenite and let's find out if they think about marrying you so we have the nine of Pen the knight of pentacles we have the Two of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the King of Cups, we have the Seven of Wands, and we have the Empress. All right. So the science associated with this one is going to be... The King of Cups is Libra Scorpio. And then the Empress is... 
Taurus, Libra, and then the Knight of Pentacles is Leo Virgo. So there is pretty good emphasis on Libra, so there's probably going to be more Libras than anything. And we have the two of wands too. Alright. So this person, they have they 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 love you. Okay. But um, it's kind of tricky. They do think about marrying you. Though but they there's some kind of conflict. It seems like there's some kind of conflict with the situation. Maybe how it would be done or anything. So they're really having a hard time making a decision. They're taking their sweet time. They um, are barely moving. They're having, they're very, this is the, the Knight of Pentacles is very heavy, slow moving character. So I feel like more than likely most of them are going to be King of Cups, which is Libra Scorpio. And then they're gonna have this energy with, um, the Knight of Pentacles. So I do see them contemplating uh, a new path. But they're having a hard time getting there. It's weird because it goes into fire though. And yeah, so they think about marrying you, but there is a conflict. They do, I feel like, you, okay, you want a new start. They're, they're dragging their feet. There's a decision that needs to be made. I feel like you're probably trying to decide if you should give up this situation. Um, let me look. I'll look really quick. So we got the Six of Swords. It is advising to move away from the situation. So it's saying, it's saying to give up. So if you've been waiting around for this person to decide what they want to do for a long time, it's advising for you, the Six of Swords is advising you to move, to go ahead and Move away from the situation. I don't think you're going to get your new start. They do think about marrying you. Don't get me wrong. But they also think about this conflict. I don't know what this conflict is, but they think about this conflict. Maybe you can tell me in the comments below what that's all about. But there is definitely some kind of conflict going on. Maybe I'll try to clarify. Let's see. So I got the Wheel of Fortune and the three of wands in the reverse. I just feel like they feel like, um, it feels like to me that they feel like they're, they're supposed to, they could possibly, they have some other option or something like that, that they feel like they're going to miss out on. And so they're not willing to fully invest in the situation. They're not committing because they want to, they think about something else that they feel like they're supposed to be doing possibly. So I would say, yes, they think about it. Will they marry you? No. So it's like a 50, 50 type of thing. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number four. If you like this kind of reading or appreciate this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and or night. God bless.